How are impacted canines best treated? Very often it is not realized that the canines have not come into position. They should appear on each side of the mouth just behind the row of four flat teeth. They are pointed, which is why they're called canine after the name of the dog. Anyway, the proportion of children who have impacted canines varies from country to country and the ratio is put as somewhere between 2 and 4 percent. Um, it depends a little bit on which paper you read. The reason for the impaction is much less certain. Some people think it is due just to the fact that the jaw is too small. Other people feel that the canine um, has a genetic ability to erupt, which is disrupted in some way. As a result of this, the canine may appear out sideways above the other teeth, or it may go inwards towards your palate. In this situation, it's a much greater problem because it can sometimes lay buried in the palate for many years. And the only way of removing it is to actually operate and cut out a lump of bone and remove the tooth. However, there are more simple ways of approaching it. The main importance is to recognize that the canine is not in its right position. If there is any doubt about the canine erupting, one should take x-rays of the teeth to see if they um, are going to erupt or are impacted. They should come into position about the age of 12 or 13. And if uh, there are no sign of them, or if it is obvious there's not room for them, then you should certainly visit your dentist and find out. If the x-rays show that they are on the outside of the teeth, um, there is not a huge concern, although the orthodontist will need to straighten your teeth and possibly find room for them. The big problem is if they erupt inwards towards the palate. As I say, this is likely to require surgery. Um, nobody seems quite sure what the cause is. However, in my view, the main cause for the impacted canines is because the upper front teeth have come too far back. This means there's no room for the canine to come down either side of them, so it tends to come in front. When it does that, it will often press against the front teeth and severely damage them. Sometimes people actually lose one of their front teeth because the canine tries to come down in front and set it behind. Now, as you would know, I tend to use orthotropics treatment, and the whole basis of orthotropics treatment is to get the upper teeth to grow forward. And this will automatically prevent impactions to such an extent that I think in any practice which uses orthotropics routinely will prevent all impacted canines. Treatment would obviously have to start before the age of 9 or 10, but given that one gains the extra growth at that point, there will always be room for the canines. And I hope that one day people will recognize this because currently impacted canines is a major problem in all well-developed countries because it requires expensive surgery and long-term orthodontic treatment, whereas a little bit of early treatment using orthotropics to create the space in the right position for the canine virtually eliminates all impacted canines.